Hi, this is Avara from Scrappy Mania, and today I have a home decor project. What I want to do is I want to spruce up this light lampshade. Now, it's, it's, it's a pretty good lampshade. It's still solid. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I wanted to make it a little more lively. I've been redecorating my house, so I got new curtains, and I got, um, I've been making some quilts, and I bought some new pillows. And after I kind of decorated the living room, the lampshade now looks plain. It needed something. So, and I remember that I had made these flowers some time ago on another video. And I'll put the link of the video where I show you how to create these flowers. But I created these and I thought these will look very nice on this lampshade. And I also wanted to use my stencil and I decided that maybe putting some swirls on the lampshade and then putting flowers around the swirls might look might look nice. Now because the lampshades are old if I fail in this experiment it's fine so I can just buy a new one because I was either going to buy a new lampshade or repurpose this one. So what I have is foam flowers I may use some of these um, leaves, maybe, maybe not, not sure, I'll see once I start. I've got some glitter paint, so I'm going to put those, and I'm thinking about using the glitter paint on the rim here. I got some black paint, I got a dauber, I think this will work pretty nice, so this kind of spongy, eh, we can call it a dauber, this kind of spongy little thing. And that's pretty much it. I have my glue gun. It's, it's set on high. And I'm ready to go. So, you got to clean your lamp. So I already went ahead and dust my lamp. I cleaned it. It's dust free. And I want to decide where I want to start the artwork. Now, I don't want it here. See, this is a seam, so I'm thinking that right here in the center will look nice. I'm going to go ahead and mask off because the only swirl that I really like is this swirl and this swirl. I do not like this one. I don't want this swirl to go in, in my painting. Okay, so I think that's going to look fine. Then I'm going to go ahead and tape this. I want this wall to go like here. So I'm going to go ahead and use some tape. Just tape this down on my lamp so it won't move. And I'm going to go ahead tape this down here. So, I mean, if you find one of these lampshades at a Goodwill store, this is, it'll be great to use for this technique. So you're just going to need a little bit of paint. And you're going to dab off most of it off. A little more paint than that. And now, let's cross our fingers. Hopefully it comes out. Okay, I think I'm done. So let's peel this off. That looked pretty nice. I think I want to put another one around this area here. Tape it down. I definitely don't want that hole to be there. There's a little hole there. Don't want that in the picture. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same technique here. Okay, that's revealed 
our stamping or stenciling. Well, it looks pretty nice. So I'm going to do the same thing to my other lampshade. And I shall be back. Another thing I'd like to do is I think I'm going to put some dots on here. And I'm using a stylus. I think I'm just going to put a couple of dots. So now what I want to do is I want to change the color of the band here. So and I want to make it that it sparkles a little bit. So I got this glitter color. It may not come out completely how I like it. We'll see. Again, I'm experimenting because of course this is an old lampshade. So if it doesn't come out right, and you know, nothing lost. I can always go and buy a new one because I was planning to buy a new lampshade, but I decided to redecorate this one because um, it's about this, you know, I have it and sort of throwing it away. We can see we can repurpose it. Okay. So maybe. Let me find a lot of the area to put this in right there. And I might need, well, it's going to be for the band here. So let's see, maybe I can use this. Or let me look for something other than that. This would be a better brush, I think. So after I went over with that paint, I really didn't like how splotchy it was. So what I did is I found some distressing paint by Tim Holt. And the distressing paint, it, it dries permanent. And I went ahead and placed that around, like you can see here. And I really like how that looked. And then I went ahead and put some leaves on here and then three flowers on there and I, I guess I should have brought this a little closer but that's you know that's my finished piece so I'm going to show you on the next one the next shade I'll show you exactly what I did so I went ahead and used my distressing paint and again holding it from underneath I dab the paint on top and then I just Spread it like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to the top and the bottom, and then I'll show you how I'll arrange the flowers here, and I shall be back. Okay, so now I'm finished putting the band, as you can see here. Now I want to go ahead and lay my flowers, but before I put my flowers, I want to go ahead and put my leaves on here first, and then I'm going to lay my flowers on top. So I'm going to put some hot glue on here. Ouch. I guess I shouldn't have touched that. And then... Lay that down. And let's see, maybe I'll start with a large flower here or more in the center. And let's see this one. Let's go ahead and lay the other leaves. So I'll put Need a small, this leaf is a little too big. I don't like it how large it is. I don't like it how large 
the leaf is. So I'm going to cut it down. I put it here. And then this is a smaller leaf, so that one looks good there. Oh, I like this one. That one I think is going to be my center flower. Then I'm going to put some more flowers like here. Maybe a smaller flower. Let's see. And you got to hold it down to let it dry first. This flower, nope. Let's look at what we have. I think this flower here will look good. And let's hold it down. flower here let's see this one might be I like this flower. It's a little too high. Let me pull it off. don't like that one. It's a little too high for what I'm looking for. I want a flatter flower. Mm, let's look. Sometimes when you make these flowers, the center is a little too high. What you can do for that is just cut it off carefully so not to cut your fingers you cut cut some of the center off like that that makes your flower a little flatter yep down then hold it okay so and then I want to put some centers on my flower I think this center will look very nice there and I'm using some buttons this is I found them on Tuesday morning came in this bottle the bottle is from buttons galore and more and not sure what the company is but it, it was in this bottle and I also have another little bag of buttons that I purchased that Tuesday morning so what I want to do is I need to cut off the backs of my button before I place it down so I got these pliers and these are button pliers that you can take off the shank with. And let me see where I put that one that I liked. This is it. I like it because it has a little diamond in the center. So you just cut it off. Then use some glue. Good amount of glue there. And then place that in the center like that. Now I'm going to look for another one there, so let's see, what button should I use? 
I like sparkly button. Maybe I like this one. That one I think I like because it brings in some white. So, let's see. Okay. So I think I'm done with sprucing up my shade. So here's one. And then here's the other one. So I hope I gave you some ideas of how you can spruce up some old lampshade that you may have lying around. And I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Bye now.